I recently made a video about Notebook LM and the commentary on that video was the fact that Notebook LM doesn't have an API. I lied. The enterprise version of Notebook LM does have an API and it is amazing. I'll show you guys a, a demo I put together. So in here, if you do a refresh, I've visited some locations and I want to create summaries of those locations. So right now I have one, two, three, four, eight. 10 notebooks here in the notebook LM, and hopefully this will happen in real time. Go ahead and refresh. Now I have 11. So the notebooks are getting created as we speak. We just created a lily lake in Colorado. For those of you who know, this is out in the Rockies. So essentially what this does is programmatically, I am creating this notebook. So here you have the chasm farm. If we take a look at the lily lake. It's, it's created a notebook. It's essentially added all the sources for me. It's, I can generate the overview, the audio overview, the podcast is really what I'm interested in programmatically as well, or I can do that through the UI, as you can see. Now let's go back. Vedan Meadow. So this is from a Colorado trip, lots of locations. You can imagine just wanting an overview of that and with dozens or more of these locations manually creating those notebooks was not the most appealing thing for me. Now Notebook LM is creating them in real time. As I refresh, you can see it all being created in, in real time. Now this happens just with the enterprise version. You cannot do this with your regular Notebook LM. So I'll leave a link to the documentation. It's very easy to set up. If you are vibe coding, I would suggest have your vibe coding prompted for you. I did just build a very simple app in here with cursor and give it the documentation for the API and give it the instruction to say, Hey, use this API, interact with notebook LM, create notebooks, update notebooks, delete notebooks, manage notebooks for me. And that's essentially what it does. Now, the only reason why I am not generating the podcast is because it's going to hit the limit. At least it does hit the limit for, it typically hits the limit very quickly for the personal version, which is what most people will use if you're using your regular Gmail. Uh, I haven't tried it yet with the enterprise version to see what the limit is, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a limit. And now what happens with this particular workflow is because it's programmatic, I can then tie this into my app of getting a location, generating the notebook LM, getting the audio summary, downloading that, and then using that in another app programmatically. So I'm not tied to the UI. And to me, this was a big requirement. So having this, I think was a very cool. This is a very simple code. I wouldn't go through the entire code because I think it's, it's very straightforward for most people. If you can, if you can prompt essentially in cursor, you can get something like this working in 30 minutes or, or less, and then just go over and get the documentation and give it to cursor and that would work. So I thought I'll show this to you guys. I think I'm very fascinated with notebook LM prior to this, I was using, I was using some other tools like 11 labs for generating audio summaries. But there is something about the notebook LM conversational aspect that 11 labs doesn't give it to you. With my 11 labs workflow, I will write the script, give it to 11 lab and then have it read the script, but it's not a conversation. And as far as I know, I haven't found a good alternative to a conversation like a notebook LM. So this is it once we're ready. I'm going to come in garden of the gods, very beautiful location in Colorado. Now I can generate the audio podcast as such, listen to it. Or really what I'm planning to do or what my workflow entails is generating this programmatically, downloading the MP3, using that in some other flows. I won't talk about the flow I'm using. It's an app that I have for some other things, but this hopefully just gives you the idea of notebook LM programmatic access. You can do all of it in cursor. It took me less than 15 minutes and this monitors the progress. Hopefully this was helpful as always. This is true. Give this a thumb up. If you like it, like, share, subscribe. As always, I'll see you in the next demo. Mm -hmm.